This is the E40. Electric motor to cut through the ice. The Power Ice Auger, featuring a motor to do the work for you. Since 1960, Eskimo has been cutting holes in frozen lakes. We take pride in knowing that Eskimo has kept your family on the ice through the years. Some things have changed since then, but over 60 years later, we're still cutting holes in frozen lakes. In the north woods of Cumberland, Wisconsin, the home of the first ever electric ice auger, we're going back to where it all started. It was electric way back when. But this time, we shaved off a few pounds. E40, starting at under 14 pounds. The lightest lithium ion ice auger ever built. But with the full power of 40 volts, it doesn't sacrifice a thing. Backed by an industry-leading five-year warranty, because the E40 has been fine-tuned to last. Cutting holes in frozen lakes can be the easiest part of the day. Full power without the weight. So this is the Eskimo electric auger. If you didn't know, Eskimo and Ion are from the same company. So the brand new Ion Alpha Plus and the Alpha that they launched last year is from the same company. They put a lot of that same research time and effort into designing this guy, which is a more budget friendly option. And to be honest with you, I've ripped about 20 holes with it so far. I am highly impressed in this auger. So a few really cool things about this auger is it is incredibly light. This is the eight inch composite. They have a eight inch steel, a 10 inch composite and a 10 inch steel. And this thing cuts incredibly smooth. Check this out. This is 18 inches of ice, barely any effort. Check that out. A little bit less aggressive of a blade pattern than the Alpha, but you still got your center point there, which is critical to making sure you're not skipping around on the ice. I, I just can't get over the weight. I've got the Alpha Plus, as you guys know. Last year that I got is my go-to auger. Moved from the 40 volt and the 24 volt. Love the Alpha Plus, but this guy right here is about a pound to a pound and a half lighter. I'll put on the screen exactly how much lighter it is than the eight inch composite of the Alpha Plus, but this thing is incredible. I love the small footprint. It's a simple design, super lightweight, and I believe it's more budget friendly than the Alpha and the Alpha Plus. So, I mean, this would be the auger that I would recommend right now. We'll see, I'll be doing another video, direct comparison, depending on your style of fishing, what you're looking for, maybe which one's right for you. Cause they, like I said, they do make four different versions of this guy, and then they've got their whole Alpha line as well. A couple other features here too. So what you'll see on the top here is you've got the Eskimo faceplate, nice little design feature. Just like the Alpha in the Alpha Plus is you've got a little knob here that you turn to take the battery off of. Now granted, some of this could be a little bit different in the production models. This is a prototype right now at the end of the 2022, 2023 ice season, but you've got a four amp battery that slides right on and right off. Very similar if you've seen the, the Alpha, it works about the same. You've got the nice handles on the sides here, and this is all a metal frame around here to protect the battery and the head of the unit. And then you've got the trigger here. So the actual trigger itself is on the bottom, and then the safety is at the top. So in order to use it, you push the top down, and then you pull the trigger and it goes. You've still got your reverse function, so you go to the R for reverse, or you go to the arrow for forward, so you can go back and forth. The other great feature that you have, you'll see down here, is you got a light on the bottom. This is great if you're drilling holes at night or in a dark shack or anything like that. As soon as you get the auger going, I'll press the lever here lightly, you can see that light comes on. It's a br really bright light, but this is a really nice auger. If you've been looking to get into an electric auger, you want something that's super light, and you don't want necessarily the top of the line, you wanna save a couple bucks, 
this could be the auger for you. And we're gonna use it a lot more here today and you're gonna see a lot more footage. All right, we're gonna pop some holes. All right, so I just drilled about 10 holes with this guy. What I like about it is that it's super smooth. This is the smoothest auger I've ever used from an electric standpoint, even better than their flagship Alpha. I've noticed this is smoother for at least the 10 or so holes that I've drilled with it. What I do notice though is when you get through, right when you break through the ice, it doesn't bog down at all, which is great. It's a smooth cut through and it actually picks up speed, which I found to be really nice for clearing the hole. Uh, but I'm a fan of this guy. Take a step down from their Alpha series to this guy. I actually think this might be my go-to auger instead. We'll see.